For those getting started with Canvas, pages are the most basic tool to share information. Pages are where you can put content and educational resources where you simply want to disperse the information. It's one-way communication. This is different from an assignment, which requires students to submit the assignment and will also create a column in your gradebook. The video you are watching right now, this is embedded on a page. On a page, you can include text and video, embed Google files. You can even make links to other web pages. Let's look at how you can create a page. For those getting started in Canvas, let's say you wanted to create a page similar to the online community agreements page that we saw earlier in this course to really set the tone for your course this fall. Now, to get started with creating a page, you will see over here that there is a pages button in your navigation. Now when you're here it's going to show you your front page which we would prefer you not to edit. Instead if you click all of your pages it will show any page that was created in your course alphabetically. And here is where you can hit plus page to start a new page here. You will then give it a title and then you'll be able to use the content rich editor to edit the page. Now, it's a blank canvas, so let's say I wanted to add a picture from the get-go to welcome them to my page. Again, we have these different buttons and our content-rich editor, and I can upload an image from my computer. So I've already had this saved, and so I'm just going to click right here on our little spaceship to upload an image, which will pull open the button to look from either my computer's hard drive or from my Google Drive. So here is my welcome image. I'm going to hit submit and it's going to then embed this on the page. I can decide if I want to as I click on it, there'll be a little options button, which will then let me if I wanted to resize this maybe to large and hit done, it will make this bigger. If I click on it, I can also decide here as you guys see the different tools to maybe center that on the page. I can then hit enter to add more information to my page. At this point, I could also choose to then utilize the full page space and use a table to organize my text. Uh, the table icon will be right over here on the upper right. You can pull down and just like in a document, I'm going to pick two columns, one row here. I can also then, if I want no lines around my information, uh, I can get rid of the black lines if I click here and just say that my border width is zero, now it'll be like an invisible table as a way that I can organize my text here. So let me type in a little bit here. So we now have more information on our page, including our graphic and in this table, the different texts that we have. If you wanted to embed a link anywhere on your page, you can simply highlight the text that you wanted to link. Uh, after you've highlighted, there's a link icon up here. You can click it to go to an external link. That means something that's outside of Canvas. So this could be a website or a Google Doc. If you're using a Google Doc, make sure that you change the permissions so that anyone with the link can view. Or course links is another place within Canvas, another page, an assignment, or something else. So in this case, I would want an external link to a Google Doc. I would then paste that link here and then hit done and that would embed that here. Let's just pretend that was it. You would see that it highlights it and then includes the unit schedule there. There are also a lot of other things that you can do on a page. You could embed other images. You can also uh, upload or record media. From this area, like we've talked about before, I could, if I had a video file, I could simply upload it. Record gives me an option right within Canvas to record a message for my students. And embed lets you paste a code that you could grab from YouTube. So depending on what you're looking at doing within your page, you have a ton of options. On the far right, you additionally have a little apps icon where we can get into the stages of embedding things directly from your Google Drive where it shows up directly on your page. I hope this is helpful as you get started with pages and that you can add an image and text to your page.